This is a quick response to a video by the sceptical her heretic called Why I See Determinism as Correct. I'm in broad agreement with what you say there, sceptical heretic. There's just one particular phrase which, um, with something you said, which has reminded me of something that's occurred to me, which is this thing about um, everything that can happen will happen. And you're kind of drawing on the multiple worlds theorem, which is ever will agree on something like that, who knows. Anyway, multiple, multiple multiverses, those kind of things in which everything that can happen, does happen. But what's always worried me about, or not worried me, but what's always um, intrigued me about that is how many things can possibly happen? You know, how many is it? Is, 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 there, um, is there a universe in which there is a, a, a sculpture of me on the moon made out of chocolate? Is, that, is, is, is there a sequence of events that is possible that could have led to that? You know, is there a universe in which uh, everyone is Im immortal? Is there, again, is there a sequence of events which could have led to that? You know, is there a, a universe in which we're all floating four inches off the ground? You know, at some point we have to, we'd have to say, well, no, that's just impossible. Which means that the, the number of possible universes is indeed limited. But what is that number limited to? And this is where determinism and the, the, the version of determinism you're talking about, uh, for me, kind of bump heads together, really, or bump shopping trolleys. Which is, you know, if it's, is the number of possible universes really just one? You know, is this it? Are we on that pool ball that's been hit and we're heading towards the corner pocket and there is no choice? Um, and if it's a number, what, what, what number is it? And what, why a particular number? You know, why a particular number?